a very good morning to everyone uh, let me welcome you to my uh, fifth video uh, on the request of certain users um, I just brought a short video for you guys so that I can continue I feel the things which I am doing today are pretty more clear and the video is having a great quality uh, let's figure it out uh, by the reviews which you guys are giving to me so today in the previous uh, today we'll be discussing about the taxonomy and the previous classes we had a discussion with uh, Carlos Linnaeus who was basically called as the father of taxonomy so now we must know that what we basically mean by taxonomy so first thing is that taxonomy is a branch of biology which deals with identification second one is classification and the third one is a nomenclature of living organism that basically means first of all we'll be identifying an organism yes that's a new organism right second will be we'll be classing classifying them classifying them basically means we'll be putting them into certain groups kisi kisi groups mein dal denge then we'll be having the nomenclature and we know that from our previous classes in which we have discussed the no, um, binomial nomenclature that the genus and the species name will be deciding that what will be the name of it so nomenclature is what is a process by which a living organism is being named a specific binomial name is given to that that is coming under nomenclature classifying is that giving them a particular taxa according to their characters now the taxonomy is having certain basis basis in the sense means we have certain criteria by which we can classify the organisms certain of them have been listed up on this particular board so let's figure it out the external structure external structure basically means we will be having uh, a specific structure for simple example let's take human have two hands two uh, two legs two eyes these are the general structures is that the external structures no let's take an example of hair in the human beings second example which we can take is memory gland right but if you want to take the external characters in the case of plants you can take the structure of the leaf right that can be the very important characteristics uh, for separation of the different groups second one is internal structure matlab andar ka structure kaisa hai how an organism looks from inside uh, views so that is very important uh, then come the cell structure cell structure basically means a cell of a living organism always have a specific structure why it has a specific structure just because it need to do a specific function keeping that in mind cell structure helps in differentiation between the two groups let's talk about the next thing developmental process in the lower classes you have seen silk cycle in eighth class you have seen silk cycle how there is something called pupa and larva stage and all uh, similarly if we talk about the frog cycle frog life cycle that is having some tadpole larva kind of thing that means uh, agar being released by the uh, this uh, frog and these are germinating in the water bodies they are not directly hatching up into a young frog they are hatching up into a larval stage and that larval stage is basically called as the tadpole larva so there is a difference in the development of the living organisms if you take the case of uh, frog if you take the case of birds the egg hatches into the young one right similar to the parent if you take the human beings there is no nothing case of the egg and all so these are basically giving these are the things which are giving you an idea about the developmental processes evolutionary development means what now evolutionary development i tell you guys better you know because we have discussed the same in the previous classes evolutionary relationship matlab ho jata hai ki uh, we are ancestor of something so there is a linkage between us and the previous living organisms or the still living organisms so that is coming under the evolutionary relationship so uh, uh, in the last class we had 
a given a statement that if two organisms are in a given taxa, if two organisms are in a single taxa, that basically means they have a single ancestor. Matlab kya hua? Agar aapka do organism ek hi taxa ya ek hi classification group mein present hai, to iska matlab kya hua? Unka jo ancestor hai, wo ek hi hai. So, that gives an idea about the evolutionary development. Ecological information, uh, I feel you guys know, you might be uh, reading up the ecological books uh, uh, regarding that from your uh, fifth class onwards. So, ecological information, let me give you a uh, bit of idea. Where the living organism is laying, living, what is the habitat required for its living, is it found all over the world or like uh, we are using a word cosmopolitan. So cosmopolitan basically means what? Which is found almost everywhere, right? So this is about the taxonomy. Now why taxonomy is important and why it is interesting? People say that taxonomy is damn boring. My goodness, it's not at all damn boring. I'm giving you a word to search out with Cowgirl. Cowgirl is a bas basic, uh, uh, what you call, uh, animal found in the North and the South America. Now the people are really confused to you know, find out whether this is coming under, under the category of a dog or a cat. What? Is it, is it coming under dog, cat? Or if you put one more thing, lion. Now people are confused. Uh, we should call it as a dog, cat, or lion, what? But exactly if I say, uh, this is coming under cat. But misnomously we are uh, calling it as mountain lion. Because it is found in the mountain regions, so we are calling it as the mountain lion. But that's not exactly right. Exactly if I say it is a cat, right? It shows the each and every character evolutionary relationship as that of the cat group. So it's best to call them a cat. And they're behaving like a cat. We must call them a cat instead of calling them a mountain lion just on their outer appearance. We have called them the mountain lions just because they were looking like lions brownish shade and but exactly they were not lions they were exactly cat so we can find out the difference between this kind of organism how to put them in this particular group or that particular group will be will be giving you a great idea to figure out right so let's move on to the next thing uh, taxonomy as i said it generally comes in uh, one or two marks uh, and uh, the evolutionary stuff in this is very important and let's figure out with the next thing that is systematics uh, by chance um, with uh, uh, the gradual pace we don't uh, get the definition of the systematics in any of the examination but they can ask nowadays so because of the vastness of the syllabus anything can be asked so systematics is Derived from a word called as a systema, systema, system, ke baad a laga do, systema. And this systema word is basically a Latin word. Latin word basically uh, means it is derived from the Latin language, which basically means systematic arrangement of the living organisms. We will be having certain living organisms with us and we will be systematically arranging them into certain groups and the categories. So that is the word systema means. And I feel you can uh, get to know what does the systematic do. So uh, he was the first one to use the systematics in his research paper titled as System in Naturally. Now uh, this was the research paper. I know you guys uh, will be confused with the what is the research paper. Uh, see it's a simple fact that people can write research paper. If they have sufficient qualifications generally, uh, uh, like if they are in the masters or they are in the uncles or PhD, they can write research papers. 
uh, even a bachelor student or in 12th class student can write a research paper research paper generally have something which is very new to the world right so he has written uh, a research paper titled as the system in nature and it used the word systematics over there and uh, so i feel we should call it, we, should, we should tell that we should tell that the systematic word was basically uh, firstly used by the linnaeus now what does exactly the systematics means so we we know that systematics deals with the systematic arrangement of the living organism this is the first thing plus we can add into the definition that it deals with the different kind of organisms it deals with different kind of organisms second one is it deals with the diversity the next thing is the relationship you know every organism on the earth has a good or a bad relationship with the one or the another organisms so this relationship between the organism is very vital for the survival of the earth so uh, relationship matters more so systematic is a system uh, systematic arrange it deals with the systematic arrangement of organisms plus it deals with the different kind diversity and the relation between these organisms right so now what are the things which are included in the systematics it includes the identification matlab kya ki ek organism ko identify karna hai pehchanna hai naya hai ki purana hai second one is nomenclature nomenclature matlab no, naming process how do we name it namkaran karna matlab nomenclature classification that means giving them a such specific group and evolutionary relationships are very important nowadays and uh, hope you like the video uh, this is such interesting fact which we have discussed with the cowger and even uh, there is some uh, like uh, confusion with the falcons uh, falcons and the parrots falcon and parrots with their classification by uh, classification uh, it's like uh, nowadays we have certain birds which are the uh, like copycat of the parrot plus the falcons we know that falcons are the birds which are very colorful and if you talk about the parrots generally in india we have seen the green color parrots right but if we have an organism which looks like a parrot in the outer appearance with a beak like a parrot the characters like a parrot and colored feathers like that of the falcon where we should put either we should put in the falcon category group or we should put in the parrots category group and the resultant organism is good in talking right it is having a friendly nature with the other organism so where exactly we need to put this so i'm giving you this uh, this thing as an homework to figure out so with this we stop for our uh, fifth video hope you like this video uh, i won't say you to uh, subscribe and all that stuff because i'm not here on the face youtube for earning i'm here for making it great for the valuable listeners thank you listening to me have a good day